be doing is injecting a solution into the areas that have the filler in there mm -hmm. and it will basically break down the filler molecules into sugar and water and then your body will then get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So generally you get really swollen, some people more swollen than others. One of the reasons you get the swelling is because it's a liquid form and the second reason is because of the interaction that's happening. So that's why we patch test you as well because you can be quite allergic to it. So I'll inject different layers and then I'll massage it, which is what we've just been doing, to spread it as best as we can. Normally, most of the filler will have dissolved by about 24 hours. Some of it is done pretty immediately. So if we were to feel one side of your lip compared to the other, even though it looks bigger, mm. it feels softer. And because we're doing so many little injections as well, oh, no. and I'm massaging, you can bruise quite heavily too. So from tomorrow, mm -hmm. you can wear makeup. You're not swelling in a way I'm worried about, by the way. Okay. <laughs> you look like you have a really bad lip for this. I know. <laughs> so we've dissolved most of the filler, I'd say? Or? I'd say most of it, but you may, we'll see what it's like in a yeah. few days and at max two weeks time. Mm -hmm. And then once um, we can see what it looks like, we may decide to go for another session yeah. just to really, get really rid get rid of everything. But we'll see what it's like. You can tell you're gonna bruise a little bit, yeah. but that's absolutely Expected. normal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It feels fine. Good. It's like you just had your lips I know. so badly. <laughs> we need to get you in two weeks time. so amazing I can't like okay guys so I hope you enjoyed that vlog this video is obviously going to be a lot different to what I would normally post it was so hard editing that footage like seeing those needles go inside my lips I was literally like squirming at how bad that looks I hope you guys could get through it because we do talk about the treatments and stuff so yeah, I'm just going to answer questions that I got from Instagram and hopefully like share a bit more knowledge based on my experiences. I'm not a specialist. Okay, so obviously the number one question that I got was why did you dissolve them? My lips were fine before. They were actually really nice. I really loved how they looked, but it was when I was recording and I was using like lighting, I could notice just along my upper lip bumps or something and it just wasn't looking nice and I really hated how they looked. And I was noticing that for like quite a while so I thought instead of waiting for it to just go away I'll get them dissolved. I actually put off dissolving for a very long time because all the things that I had seen about people getting their lip fillers dissolved was literally like them getting it squeezed out which looks incredibly painful and not nice like it didn't look pleasant at all but people need to understand the thing about fillers is it doesn't really like just disappear into thin air. With most people they probably do dissolve a lot quicker but usually the filler like might travel around the face and I think that that's what happened to me sometimes it's good to get a refresh and to like just you know it's the same with boob jobs or veneers or stuff like that it's best to get them you know renewed after a few years or so how long did you have to wait in between depends on your experience with the dissolving i thankfully had a really good experience with my dissolving like by the time i came home everything was gone i didn't bruise much as you guys can see in the video yeah my swelling went away so i literally just messaged sarah and i was like Listen girl, the soonest we could do was one week, so I waited a week. 
How often do you get them topped up? I don't actually get them topped up very often. Um, I'm lucky in the sense that my filler doesn't go down too quick. So I would say like a year or so. Some people say their filler only lasts a month or so. Why is this? I don't really think this is something too common. I definitely haven't experienced anything like that. It probably is the type of filler. Maybe it's your lifestyle or your body just dissolves it a lot quicker. I'm not too sure. Is there ever a need to dissolve filler when there are no complications? I didn't have complications like I said like it wasn't harmful or anything it was because I felt like it just didn't look as nice anymore so you, that's not a complication that's just personal preference it really is up to you it's your body you do what you want with it how long does it last I mean the standard time that people say is like a year but once again that is very subjective and it really depends what do you ask for I mean this time round, I really wanted to just stick to like my natural lip shade because I did have quite defined lips before and also the ratio I wanted to keep the same so my bottom lip was always a bit bigger than my top lip so. Does dissolving hurt a lot? I expected dissolving to go a lot worse, but you can literally see me in the video, I'm just staring into the camera. But it wasn't that painful at all, guys. Things to consider before getting lip filler. I would definitely say the place or the person you go to because good filler can really either enhance you a lot more and uh, complement your features. It's really good to go for someone who has that eye for detail. Can you feel the filler in your lip? Does it affect your eating, speaking, lip biting, etc? Not really. I would say the first few days of you getting the lip filler, you can obviously like feel it because you're like bruised and swollen. But after a while, the lip filler literally becomes one with you and it's completely fine. Like I don't feel anything anymore. How much did you get? I got one mil, which is like quite standard, but it depends on your natural lip shape. So I was able to get one mil because I had enough lip to work around with. But yeah, I got one mil, so that's kind of like what most people get, I would say. Does it hurt to get them filled? The part where it's like quite scratchy and itchy is like the outer corner of the lips, like the outer part. Otherwise, it's not really that painful, but it depends on your pain tolerance. Like I would say mine is quite decent and I just have to remind myself that beauty is pain and the pain is only temporary and it gets me through. Once they were dissolved, did your lips look uneven? No, so that's another lucky thing about me was my experience was very good and I didn't have to go in for a second dissolving session. Sometimes that is needed depending on how well your lips have been dissolved the first time around. Okay guys, so that brings us to the end of this Q&A session. I'll leave all the details of Tara down below so you guys can reach out to her if you have any more questions. She is honestly amazing guys, like I would say my experience with her has been so good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like and subscribe and leave any other questions you have down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye!